Alright guys, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Just checking in on one of my stockyards. It's looking pretty damn good. I don't know quite where we've got all this stuff from. I'm not growing any wheat. I don't know why it's there. But we are growing arrows. They grow them in the fields around here, I'm, I'm sure of it. A little bit of pottery showing up. All the gold lying outside. Now what was the point of me building this thing if they're just going to leave it lying on the streets? I have no clue. Thank you for joining me, guys. And don't forget, please leave a like if you can, and uh, add a comment. Tell me what you're thinking of the game so far. Are you enjoying the gameplay? I hope so, because I ain't stopping, so you're going to have to watch more of it. Um, and it's it's so addictive, this game. It really, really is, as these games are designed to be. But this one in particular, yeah, it's got me. It's got me hooked good and proper. So, as you saw in our last episode, we've now got a brickyard, which is producing bricks at an amazing rate. Uh, not really, but it's a rate. Anyway, and we have a glass maker on the go. All we need to do is get them a bit of sand. Of course, we've got a sand pit, so that shouldn't be a problem. We have a predator. It's almost traditional to start these episodes now with a little predator action. Um, thankfully, my city is a... My city? My town? I don't know. Is it, is it a city yet? We don't have a cathedral. I'm not sure it counts. My town is relatively well defended except the archer here has decided not to aim at the bear that's better that's better come on get him done it's all over how painless was that okay now that's out of the way i've got a little plan okay you may have noticed one thing actually I've, i need to build another house let me start with this my little story for today <laughs> we've got to build some more housing and if you look at my whole sort of city um all of the industrial stuff's being done down this end and my housing is up here and I'm, I'm pretty much limited to building now I can only really go out this way and then I'm heading more towards the farm area which apparently people don't like living near farms must be the smell of manure but I could expand over here so look I'm gonna put a house right here just to get that one built so that my very unhappy villager who I think is somewhere over by the lake yeah, right here. Look at this person. Look at this poor, poor Hilda. Poor Hilda, the fisherwoman, hasn't got anywhere to live and she's really upset. So, um, yeah, she's homeless. We can't have Hilda, the homeless. We can't make that her nickname. <laughs> so we're going to build that house for her. But madness, you say. Madness, building it in an area like that. Why would you? I hear you ask. <laughs> I can, no, I can hear you. I can hear you. So... To get rid of our desirability problem in this sort of section, I've got a couple of a couple of things I'm going to do. Firstly, we're going to move the smoke ass because the smoke ass is something that people don't like to live nearby either. So we're going to push that out a long way over here. Okay, so it's by a road. It's it's still going to be near the hunter cabin, which I'm also going to move. I'm going to move that. Uh, back over this side uh, for now we c again they, they move these things so quickly so we can we can kind of move it again should we so need to but it's still near the deer um, next thing we want to uh, click on and move where's the desirableness meter gone I wish there was an overlay for desirability and I can't quite see where it is so we'll just double check by by pretending to build another house so you can see that that area of redness is growing elsewhere. So I think uh, it's either our tannery or the Fletcher building, which is reducing desirability. It doesn't seem to show what that is. So it could well be the Fletcher, um, which means I'm going to move. I'm going to move our Fletcher. Our Fletcher is going to move all the way down to our sort of industrial zone. And I'm going to stick them out on this side. Now, where should we put them? I mean, this is as good as any, but I'm, I'm thinking about other stuff I've got to put. So let me put this right on the road uh, by the farm. Okay, that's good. So all these things being moved around is a plan. It's a very important plan. I've thought about this long and hard. Really, just I just thought about it. So again, we'll go back to our, our thing here. Um, and I guess the tannery is also attracting a little discomfort from people. Now, the tannery is important because uh, it produces these hide coats. Again, I'm going to move it all the way. You can see the redness 
oozing out of it. So we'll get that all the way over here as well. Um, we can stick him. We can stick him right behind these two sawmills. Uh, which way does it face? Hold on a second. Let me get this right. Um, I like that. Let's get. Let's put it that side. So they'll clear the tree. We get a bit of extra wood for doing that. And we should now, well, soon, be about to um, improve. Let me get our builders increased to seven out of the labor. The laborers just kind of wander around picking stuff up. Let me just assign a few more. Let's go triple time and get all this stuff hacked away and moved. It should not take too long at all. This guy's got to move first. I love this. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, that man's useful with a hammer. So they relocate these buildings over there. This person's gone. What the hell? You've got, oh, you've got worms. It's not you again, is it? Is it? it I think she was the one who had worms the last time. Iana, stricken with worms. An infection with parasitic worms can lead to, yeah. Spread through close contact. Basically, she's got wormy feet. I mean, oh, and they've added a close all button. That's pretty cool. That's brand new in this update then. Housing shortage should be sorted soon. The villager, uh, Iana, is off to get some medical assistance. Or, she's gone, she's gone back to her Fletcher shop. <laughs> okay. All right, the house is built, so that means our, our icon here is, has disappeared. What's this? Why are you showing me a report for the last 12 months? Oh, is this new? Producing is a level. Consumption has dropped a little bit, but that's okay. Spoiler just gone up, but we're doing something about that soon. We will do. Look at all this sand that's being produced and left around. So somebody came along, dumps it in the street, and then they wander off again. But that's okay. Our sand is being dug up from a little sandpit over here. Plenty of plenty of action down there. So this guy is the... What are you? Are you moving? Yes, you're moving as well. That should mean that our desirability in this area has gone back to being pretty damn green. So, let's just slow time back down again to something a little more manageable while we decide what to do next. I would like to help the whole town. Okay, they've been crying out for something. A town crier wandering the streets because they've been shouting and hollering, but we were gonna, we're gonna make them laugh and applaud instead. They would like more entertainment. So let me entertain them now. We're gonna build them a little theater. A little theater. It's actually a bloody great big theater. And the place I have deemed it to be uh, is right behind the candle shop. Why wouldn't you? Uh, so, I, because, pff, I don't know. I've got, no, I've got no, no other options. I have, I've got plenty. But this is where we're gonna put it. Uh, the theatre is right here, and I love the design of it. It's, it's a bit like Shakespeare's Globe, when you look at it up close. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. So we are going to stick that right here. That instantly transforms the desirability of all houses. Now if I just show you, uh, if I just take it well away over here, they're still affected by its desirability, even at a distance like this. So bringing it right into the town, improves the desirability of every single damn house I have. And and I, I, I tell you what, I might stick it in this corner and move the well. That could be a better option, actually. Let's stick it in. Can we do it here? Oh, I don't think we can. Maybe we can. Let's, let's just rotate it this way. If we stick it here. Uh, it's right by the sawmill, but... I don't know, they might not like the sounds of the singing. But it's, it's more centralised, I think, to the whole town. Um, I d I, you see, it couldn't go there anyway because of my candle shop. So let's stick it right here. Get them working on that. That tree can go so we get a better view. And uh, these now it's not a cheap building. 150 clay, 150 planks of wood. So we'll need to produce this slowly over time. But a thousand gold. It's expensive, okay? It takes money to, to run a theatre. You know, we've got to pay the actors, the makeup, the costumes, the scenes, the directors. It's, it's an expensive business, but soon money should start rolling in. I believe I should make money from ticket sales. If not, why not? Monthly cost. It actually is going to cost me 20 
gold bars a month to run the damn thing. Well, I'm now disappointed. But the people asked, and I heard, I listened, and I am delivering for my population. Now, considering I'm earning $235 a month from my manufacturing processes, really, I can afford a theatre for these people now. So that should be built uh, over, over the course of the next year or so. We're about to head into harvest season and uh, nine months of food in storage i think we should be okay the uh this field oh this one this one's got turnip leaf spots and it's gone up again because i planted more turnips before that was laid it was right the way down and only a couple of only a couple of pixels of course i've made the problem worse by sticking turnips in the plot so i suppose you know we learn these things i will learn these things these fishermen huts right i don't know what it is they keep on complaining that there's no fish in the area. And then as soon as I... It didn't work this time. As soon as I change where they're fishing, they seem to go back to uh, it all being okay again. Let me, just let me see if I can move that over here. And maybe that'll change it. Let's see. No. Still not happy. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. There's a fishing shoal on this side, so maybe I should... Maybe I should... Maybe I should think about moving that. Anyway, let's go check in on the farm. Uh, as the oh, hang, hang, hang on, before we do, how are you? How are you done for fruit this year? 150, not bad. Looking pretty damn tidy. Very nice. So we've got trees. Uh, sorry, we've got trees. We've got apples, our peaches, and our pears. Very, very good. I'm liking. I'm liking what I'm seeing. A couple of dead deer. How did you get over there? Are they attracted, perhaps, to my fruit? What are the deer doing over here? That's almost poetic. We've got boar in there. Anyway, um, I wonder if they're attracted to the farm. That is weird. They've, they've just come a-wandering. I, I don't know. So, where are my cows? I, actually, I could probably... I could probably do with getting all of this stuff that's in the field here removed because it's it's just ruining the view they don't need trees in there i don't know why there's so much overgrowth here that i can't actually get rid of anyway it's done somebody will come along and chop that down later this upgrade cobbled road is just not happening it's a it might my plan was to make things a little bit quicker to move from place to place um, and that's what was to be done here, but they're just not prioritizing it. So I might have to change my approach on that one. All these roads that need cobbling. I've got plenty of stone. They just can't be asked. Now, this this is the, still the mystery house. And maybe when the theater's built, it'll suddenly spring into life again and become desirable. It's not exactly in a rough end of the rough end of the of town. Right by the farmland. Maybe that's what it, why they don't like it. It's perhaps Perhaps they, they get robbed a lot. Because there's nobody watching their house from the other side of the street. I don't know. I don't know. And what have we got in here? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So right by the right by the apiary, they put uh flowers and plants down. It's so good. It's so detailed. I'd have to be able to zoom in even another level. But these look like little hobbit houses, I think. Anyway, three new villagers are born. We've got uh, room for 172, so we are still increasing. As soon as this gets done, which our, our, our splitters are chopping away. Oh no, we need the, the sawmill. Where are you? It's around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So these guys have just got to get a shift down, and uh, we should be good. There's plenty of wood to take it from, as long as they don't rob us of the firewood. And of course, I'm producing coal now which means that I'm not burning as much of the firewood as I was before. These guys have, have got coal in storage, which is great, but what was the one that was actually consuming? See, these guys have foundry. No, that's not what it was. There was something, oh, it was the soap shop, wasn't it? Yeah, they use firewood. I wonder why they can't use coal. There's no upgrade for this building yet in the game. I'm sure that will happen at some point. It's still one of my favourite buildings to have a little look at. These huge vats of oily soup. 
being uh, oh the worms have been fletched out so the 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 oily soup to make the soap uh, it's pretty good somebody left the soap box on the street here maybe maybe someone was giving a speech I don't know it was around here somewhere but uh, we're pretty close and look, oh that's the villager cure okay uh, let me go change where this guy's hunting because he's he's leaving the deer over here unattended he should be off to hunt a little more let me get the smokers doing the smoking I'm wondering if the smoker actually should be pushed back near the storage rooms it's a long way to walk now this is something you can you can see I think yeah so most of the time spent for this person in the smokehouse is on travel so it's a good idea actually when you see that happening to move them somewhere closer to where they won't need to travel which basically is back down here near my storehouses etc etc so we could probably put the smoker right here let's get them moved I don't know why I keep pressing escape um, we'll get them moved all good and we're ready for another winter we've got 10 months of food in store the turnip we're not doing turnips next time this guy the clover might help don't know we'll see uh, meanwhile everything just rolls on our hunter up here is still making a good effort it's telling me I can, I can upgrade these hunter cabins but I I don't know I just don't want to spend the iron on them just yet especially while we're waiting oh oh it's been built oh this is it oh praise be this is our brand new brand new cheese machine all right it's cheese maker isn't that great so we've got how many people assigned to it two out of six let me let me just do some rearranging I gave builders four let's go back down to five and we'll increase our cheese makers now producing this stuff oh look at that we've dropped down to 44 why hmm I don't know not sure why that is it's a bit of a mystery we had we had 235 dollars rolling in and that's now dollars sorry gold bars or whatever that's dropped down so we're not getting the oh, maybe it's the winter people don't do a lot of working outside of that time oh well it's feeling cheesy around here so yeah I've put this close to the farm obviously it's quicker for them to get the milk out here uh, it does mean that the distance from the storage houses is a little bit far uh, the shrine can be upgraded can it what does it need of course it needs all my favorite things stone iron and gold hmm I don't think so Oh, one thing at tier 3 as well, the decorations. You can build these, like, statues. Check out the look of these giant statues. I mean, I'm not planning on putting one down because I think our theatre is going to carry this town for a little while. But look at this thing. It's absolutely awesome. And it, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think the significance in whether the horse has, like, a hoof in, in, raised or whether he's on hind feet, there's something about whether the horse died in battle when the, when it's got like one leg up or two front legs up it's, it's something I think it's universal about statues probably very boring but I always thought that kind of thing was interesting if they've got all four legs on the ground I think they like they didn't serve in the military or something like that I, I'm not sure uh, there, there is something to that I just can't put my finger on it right now so this is good our, our desirability levels of all houses now I think are looking pretty good is there a di desirability overlay I I don't think that there's any way of seeing it we've got some shortcuts for overlays like the, the, the F2 to turn on what's upgradable what's turned off maybe and what your problems are um, the F3 I particularly like this one it's like the the Harry Potter map shows you everybody and their current activity sometimes you find the odd person who's who's got nothing to do and and that can be another good way of figuring out your next sort of priorities um, 
Oh, I've just sped up the game as well. One, two, three, and four number keys actually change the speed of the game. So let's whip our way through the winter. Get rid of our F3, even though I still love it. Um, new Year 27. Oh my god. And we got a new baby cow. That's two. We're getting one a year. My god. It's gonna get a it's gonna get a little incestuous in this farm. I think some of our cows are gonna end up with two heads. Six hooves. And the little ones will grow. So this is good. And I suppose we have to manage the amount of, of livestock we have. Um which I think is yeah, the herd size here. So the birth rate is is a roughly one a year, just as I suspected. <laughs> which is kinda cool. Uh, if if it, if the population grows, we can obviously increase the size of the barn or upgrade the barn, or we can decide to end the life of one of our happily happy lived cows who've who've enjoyed this beautiful field that they're eating in, grazing in. All right, let's get back down to the drama. Our bear. Let's check the. Oh, there's another overlay, I think, to show, like, the, the villager health. Oh, yeah, F3. Yeah, this guy's... This guy's got a chopper in his hands. But I, I think he's got to... He's got to get to safety. Where's... Where's my... Where are my guards or my towers? Because he's one of my hunters. We don't really want him to die, but he's given a good account of himself. Look at that. She is so brave. Couldn't care less if there's a cow, sorry, a bear running past. She is retreating in the wrong direction. Oh, here we go. My soldiers can absolutely batter him. I mean, he doesn't stand a chance. It's fantastic. These guys, man. Now, they were actually a little bit, a little bit injured. Um... But I, I can't really get the right overlay working for them. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, right. Carcass of a bear. So, what have we got going on? we got peas. This this field will produce, produce a lot of food this year, hopefully. Um, the weed levels are really low. I could be better in fertility. I'm going to actually bring that over this way. Uh... Oh, it's so annoying because you have to keep you have to keep catching that before it's too late. Um, I'm I'm aware that we've got a new travelling merchant. We'll go and say hello to them in a minute. Um, this field, which has got the uh, the turnip leaf spot, I've removed the turnips that I had here growing in that first year. So we're going to get a bit of clover. It should bring that down nicely, and hopefully the cabbage will get rid of this thing. You see it's already dropped pretty quickly. Uh, this one, what have we got going? Again, the weed levels have dropped pretty nicely. It's it's mainly down to the maintenance, having regular maintenance there. But also, some of the crops have a good chance of reducing them too. And then finally, our last field, where we're going to get a bit of flax. I've tried to make sure we've got the cabbage, the leafy greens, at every... at least once a season somewhere. Once a year somewhere. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how I can do that with the flax as well, because clothes are commodities. I can, I can sell them if I can't uh, make them. So we've got two fields that will produce that flax and keep our, our weavers busy. Um, but I could do with having one in that second field, sorry, in that second year as well. Oh man, this is so much to manage and be getting on with. How are we doing here? All the resources have been delivered, bar 21 planks. It's that simple. So we should just let these, the sawmill, get get on with it, basically. Let's give them somebody else to do some work. Uh, what would we need to upgrade this? Oh, we need more bricks and a heavy tool. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not promising anything, people. But this theatre is practically ready to go. The firewood, guys. I, I, I've, I've added two more because we nearly ran out. So I added a couple more firewood splitters down here. And they've been 
I mean, I've, they've only got one person in them, but look at look at the firewood now. It's it's all right. I, I might have to disable some of these just so that we save some of the wood for other things. So while the firewood is actually looking good, I'm going to do that now. Let's just remove her. You go off and do something else. Uh, you are transferring your items. That's fine by me. We'll just bring down the, the, the pace of our firewood creation at the moment. I think it's important that we do. So, how's our cheese maker? 170! Oh my god, already! Oh yeah, I forgot my merchants. I should go and pay them a visit. Right, bear with me. Let's go, let's go do that. Right, we've got two here, so let's get ourselves down into... Uh, actually, let's get into pause mode. And let me have a little look at this. Okay, now here's the uh, candidate number one. Is that we can sell some linen clothes to this guy. I think everybody's happy about being... Oh, they don't have shoes at the moment. They've got plenty of clothes. Okay, 96% are well-dressed. So I'm going to I'm gonna transfer around... Ooh, let's say... F I'm hedging my bets here. Let's just go somewhere in the mid-30s. Uh, what does that button do? Keep in stock. Yep, we'll do that. So that we're ready to sell this stuff at a moment's notice. Uh, the other guy's willing to buy, buy... Oh, do you know what I do need? I need more pelts. I wonder if either of them have got any pelts or leather or anything. Yes. And he's selling them at a stupid low price. Right, we're going to have to buy these because the cobblers need this stuff to be able to... Is it pelts? I'm sure it's pelts. Let me, let me, let me just double check. There's the cobblers. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's what they need. So they need the pelts. Right. Um, in that case, let's go back over here. This is now... Um, this is now moved off screen. Okay, that's better. So, we will buy a few of these then. Let me buy some. We need lots of pairs of shoes, and I can afford the gold. So let's buy... I think you need one to make a, one pair of shoes. Let's just give them a, a large... Stock. Transfer. Yeah, buy. I want to buy. Confirm trade. It's not letting me buy. What have I got? What have I got wrong? He's going to sell them. At a below price. Oh. I can only buy 20. He doesn't let me buy any more. Is that all he's got? Is that why? Am I being dumb? Okay, we'll buy and transfer... No, he had more. I don't get that. I don't get it at all. Story of my life. Okay, we've, we're stocked up now on the clothes. So let's sell all of those. And we have 756 gold coming our way. See, man, this market stuff is the way to go. And now we've... Ah, look, manufacturing's in progress again. So it must be just like for the six months of the year between the spring and autumn. The manufacturing brings me taxes. Oh, 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 I get this cold sense of shivering down my back every time I mention making money. <laughs> okay, yep, I get the idea. So this, this guy, you can go. You, you may disappear. Two new villagers are born as well. And we have had a couple of deaths, but I noticed um, just as I was loading up the game that we had a, we had a death from old age. Which I think is terribly sad. We've so far, we've only lost like a dozen people in 27 years of hard graft, and these people deserve the entertainment we're about to bring them. And it's it is is actually about to spring up in front of our very eyes. Let's check this out. Come on, theatre. I wonder what their first performance will be. Something traditional, like Hamlet. I suppose this is a bit of a Hamlet in, its, in itself, isn't it? There it is. Oh, I love that. The laughing and smiling masks. This is so good. Man, it's it's amazing. I love this game. <laughs> and there's upstairs for the, for the bar afterwards. Or in the interval. No, we can even see indoors. No seating. 
Oh, they haven't they haven't finished that bit yet, but we'll we'll come back when they've when they've done the interior decorating. Hey man. Love it. So, they should all be really, really happy with me now. Apart from the shoes. We'll worry about the shoes. So there are plenty of entertainment venues in town. Uh, we've got more people who could join. It's only seven. Alright, you can come. We need to grow this happy place, but we are approaching 176 people. I can't believe it. I mean, we've gone from like 76 to 176 in just a few short years. I'm hoping that, that we have somewhere for them all to live. We have exactly the right number of places for them to live. So it's probably, probably good. I know we're losing crops to heat stress. I, mm, there's not much I can do about it now. But we could probably do with having like a spare room or two. Because I, I, as I would suspect, if a couple can't move into a house and there isn't a spare room for the, for the little one, the little sprog they might produce, then, well, that's why I think we've got to have more space. So the only thing stopping this from upgrading is just delivery of, of, of an additional food item. Um, but the market should be covering that. The market's actually really close to these guys. So that I don't see as a major problem. Uh, oh, look at that. We could... Oh, it's such a shame. Could do with actually moving the market. If I moved it actually where the garden was. <laughs> oh, no. Moving doesn't cost anything, though. It will just relocate stuff. It's just moving it out the way. Deleting it would be a disaster. So just moving the market might be a better plan here. I've just thought that, you know, we've got all this space here. We can't build housing in this direction because it's starting to get towards industrial zone. It might be better to move the market around here and then move some of these houses and we'll start, we'll start building more houses out around the theater, the theater district. Yeah. Oh, yes. But there we go. These are, these are instantly upgraded. Um, this one will go soon. And I think in terms of our, like, our tier three, oh, sorry, our tier two houses, our homesteads, they're pretty damn happy. We've got bonus from desirability, a larger bonus. What do they need? They need 65 desirabilities now to go to the next level. Have any of my buildings got that kind of, or are they even close? This isn't bad, is it? 52. So what would make my people happier? How can we increase their, their desirability? I'd just love to see what the tier three housing looks like. Let's see if we can, uh, a villager stricken with a fractured bone. Uh, villagers undertaking a more hazardous jobs such as mining or labor in a work camp are prone to be injured on the job. Fractured bones can lead to improper healing and infection until treated by the healer. Oh, that reminds me. Whenever these guys have a winter or a bad weather comes in, they've got a really long way to get back to their houses in town. Now, this is something I didn't understand at first. When I saw this housing, you've got the shelter here. And you've got this temporary shelter here. Now, it, it, it mustn't be thought of as a, as a permanent house. It's actually a, a place which, which you can put food and supplies in, but it allows workers that are far from... You have to just read it, really. I mean, it's right there, but I didn't realize this at first. Um, the workers that are far from their residence, um, if they need to take shelter, if a bear is chasing them, or, or if the raiders come, or a, a blizzard comes in, they can dive into this house for a little bit of safety. So I'm going to stick one actually quite close to these work camps up here to give them, if, if I can find a flat bit of land, um, which is not going to make me... Oh, there we go. We've, we've got one here. Let's stick it. Let's stick it. Um, and put the door the right way around. So we'll get ourselves a little work camp up here so they've got somewhere to, to stay when things go to the proverbial. All right, let's go check in on my, my population of cows. There's our latest little Baba. There he is, little, little cheeky little, he's just vanished. Oh, there we go, that's our second one. So actually both of the two new calves 
take uh, a little time to grow up to become heifers. Is it heifers? Is that what you call them when they're a year old or something? I think so. I don't know. So, lots of milk, lots of cheese. How is the cheese coming on? Because we seem to be absolutely... Wow. We're, we are... I mean, this is a cheese factory. They're doing so well. Village has been cured. Okay, his, his broken bones are fused back together. He walks with a limp. But that's okay. Okay, we still love him. I don't know why I'm saying half the stuff that comes out my mouth at the best of times. I'm very sorry. Uh, you've left a turnip. Excuse me. Farmer, you've missed, you've missed one. That's good food there, you know. I think they're more concentrating on the honey. Well, I'm, I don't blame them. All right, let's go and check out before we end the episode today. I mean, maybe a bit of a shorter one than I've been doing lately. But let's go check out and see if our glassmaker has produced any. He has. We have 11 jars or bottles or cups. I don't know. Something. We've got glassware. Absolutely awesome. Now, these guys do take some time traveling, but that's fine. They will have to. I'd still love the look of this building, though. Again, you've got the, the stained glass flower design. Looks so good, man. Full marks to the people who made this game. It's attention to detail like that, I love. And how are we doing down here? Okay, you're all good. That's making us... Um, this is not very fast. I really would like them to pick up the pace a bit, but then it might be the delivery of the ore that's a problem. We only have seven here. You need five to make a single bar. So iron ore production is probably the next thing I should uh, be stepping up. I forgot what I was going to do. Oh yeah, because we got the glassware now, in our cold storage, we should find... Yes, <laughs> we're storing honey in the glass jars. This is perfect. Um, now there should be other... Oh, the barrels, again, we haven't made too many of them, but they should step up a bit. We're storing more honey over there. Let me go check the... Where are the others? Somebody's... Somebody got typhoid. Uh, it's fine. Still not had a rat problem, but then that's because we don't really have... Um, any grain being stored anywhere. So that will become a, a problem when we start dealing with breads and bakers and... And wheat and stuff. Um, cheese is good. Cheese are good. Cheese are good. Uh, more honey there. I was kind of hoping. Ah, that's what I wanted to do next. Now we're getting the glass jars produced. What do we need? I all hear you cry. We need a preservist. So, let's go find one. Um, it's not here. Uh... Your settlement requires additional... Yeah, I know it does, but hey, relax, okay? We can build a pub, but we've got to be able to create beer first, I think. Uh, glass maker, furniture workshop, brewery... Oh, brewery, that's how you make beer. Uh, foundry, blacksmith forge... Ah, that's what we need to make weapons and tools and stuff. Um, I think if we get our own production up, that'll be a good call soon. The armory to make armor, shields... Charcoal kiln. I don't think we need that. Um, soap shop would be good. What am I looking for? Not a shop. Not a weavers. Potters. Apiary. This work camp idea as well. I've, I haven't used it and I don't think I've needed to. Um, preservist. This is the fella. This is what we need. Um, and it can go anywhere. It doesn't seem to affect any desirability. So, um, it's fairly large though. I do like it. I think we're going to stick it on our row, our construction row though. Can be close to the houses here. But, this is right by the storage locations and the food storage is pretty close to either side of this field. So, let's stick that on the inside here. Let's get it, um, let's get it facing that way. There it is. So we're going to get a preservist, finally, to start putting the food in the jars. Fermenting them. Making jams. This is, I mean, 
it's it's insane how how cool this game is and everything is thought of and don't forget this is early access right they haven't even finished it yet but this is how far they've got i did notice on um on on a forum page it's and I, I didn't read it too much it's actually the i wonder if i can view it from here uh no it's from from the main menu there's a page you can go to uh which shows you like the some game instructions but they're not really i don't I haven't looked too far but right at the bottom of that page shows you what a tier five house should look like and granted at this stage in the game we can't go any higher than oh we can go higher Ah, oh, it's locked. Okay, but that might be right requirements. Um, these houses at the moment, I don't believe we can get up to tier five just yet. I mean, I don't know how you would do it. It's it's going to be a case of more features, more for, more more buildings, more things added to the game. I don't know how far they're planning on taking this game. Like whether they will continue the evolution and maybe into, you know, maybe technical evolution. I think that would be really cool. I've played games like that before, um, and you guys will probably know. Is this is Civilization, where where you start off basically as like a caveman, and you end up like a nuclear scientist, and you have a space program. You know, there are games like that which are fun, but they sort of rush the pace of that development, and I think it spoiled the fun of it a little bit for me. So this one, moving at the same pace here, we're sort of in the mm, medieval ages almost sort of tudor looking back in not tudor i'm way later than that maybe uh, a couple of about three or four hundred years ago um this kind of style of building tell me i'm wrong i'm not an architect but it would be lovely if you could very slowly progress in time and the upgrades just took you a slight and not a great not a giant leap but just a slight evolution in building design and infrastructure to the point where you did start producing you know you had a steam age or maybe you had an industrial revolution and then you could move into um uh, electronics perhaps uh electricity light bulbs street lamps um but then but but, to, but do it slowly you know we could we could introduce uh vehicles but not just wagons perhaps they become um you know, powered by uh, combustion engines, and I don't know. It's just—I wouldn't want it to happen quick, though. I'd want to—I'd want to indulge in the time it takes to get there, and the hardship that you that you'd have to go through to get to that stage. Sorry, I'm waffling on. It's just—I <laughs> find it—it's the kind of game where they really could just keep expanding, and whether they would do that in a sequel or not, maybe it might be too big a deal to just plug all this stuff on. Um. And what would you do when you've already got a map like this that's so well, sort of so well done? No, I mean, it's, it's sort of so well developed already. I, I'm going to find it hard to fit in other things that might n be required to to upgrade a lot of my stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's not the best idea right now. Still, guys, thank you for watching. We have built the entertainment. Oh, listen, that was quite cool. The sound effect of joining the theatre. I feel like that's a round of applause just for me. <laughs> uh, well, we've got other stuff, so we're going to have to build uh, something, something like our armory. Um, we obviously have our preservist underway, and that should be that should be done. Ooh, I was going to say pretty quickly, but we've got. Oh, I think it's already got. Yes, it's already got everything. Okay, well let's watch it happen. While the blizzard rolls in, we'll watch our preservist. Oh my god. A little bit of settlement damage there, did you see? There it is. Oh god, it's like a witch's cauldron here. Our preservist is done. I love the uh, the design here. Little berries on berries on the vine, jam jars. It's clear what these people do in here. Absolutely brilliant. All right, guys. Well, let's hopefully make it through the next winter, and then we move on into well. It would be year 28. Oh, did my... Before I go. Yes, my workshop has been built. I've lost my mouse. There it is. I got lost in the blizzard. So, some of the workers have moved here. 
just temporarily while the blizzard. This is exactly what I wanted to happen, to save them having to run all the way back into town. Only to come back out again. Some of them have had to do that, so we might have to build another temporary shelter. These guys are having to rush back. Another shelter maybe around here for these these guys. And you can see what happens. Blizzard came in, everyone takes cover. And as soon as the blizzard's done, they're out. They've got a little bit of firewood to keep warm, and somebody's going to bring them some supplies. Right on cue. Thank you. What's your name? That was perfect. Thank you, Jared. Jared, my wagon driver. Well done, sir. All right, guys. All the best. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And there'll be more from the village of Samstead in the next part. Take care. All the best. And good night.